So I was working on a couple of <clears throat> these herd locks. I hope this thing stays in focus because I'm right in front of it. Um, that I got off of eBay and uh, wasn't having much luck with them and part of it was that the they're kind of old and have gotten a little sticky over the years and uh, let's zoom in just a little bit more for you um, focus there we are okay so uh, this is Alex by the way and um, I've used WD-40 before um, it's probably some of you will think that's a horrific thing to do uh, put oil in the lock but it seems to work really well to get some of the gunk out and um, uh, free up the pins so that they're not so sticky. Um, but what I was trying to do is find a way to do it without making such a big mess. Um, and uh, I had this crazy idea. This is an insulin syringe. Um, no, I'm not an IV drug user. Um, it's a 1cc. You can get these at the drugstore or um, if your drugstore won't sell them to you because you're not a diabetic, um, you can uh, certainly order them online, which I think is where I got these. So what I did was I took a little bit of WD-40 and got a big hair in it. A uh, little bit of WD-40 went in the garage and uh, just simply filled the syringe a little bit with some of it. It's a little viscous so it doesn't fill quite as easily. Um, but then I've got this very fine needle. It's like a 30 gauge kind of needle. And um, what I can do is I can actually take it and stick it somewhat deep into the lock. You can get these with longer, let's see, get these with longer um, needles on them and put a fairly precise amount of oil in there and it actually kind of squirts out if you look at so you can kind, of, it kind of, well it doesn't squirt that well um, and put a little bit maybe around the plug you know um, and one cool thing is you can kind of if you've got the shackle that is being a little bit of a bitch you can kind of uh, just get it right in there, just right around, and the, the capillary action or the, the uh, surface tension will just take it right in along the shackle. Kind of maybe do one of these things with it just to loosen it up. And then I just take a, this is a South Ord, I think, uh, um, Bogota thingy. Um, but you can kind of hear how crunchy it is initially. Um, but as I sort of work the lube in there, the WD-40, into the lock, it starts loosening up and the, the back pin there is still a little bit wobbly, so let's give it a little bit more. Um, and what's nice is it, you know, it doesn't spray all over the place, you don't really get the fumes in the house so much so I can work in here where the light is better and tell what's going on. Put the paper towel down so the wife doesn't get mad about the table. Um, do that and then take a tension wrench and uh, give it a little twist like that to kind of help the plug a little bit. Okay, maybe give it a little bit more raking, that kind of thing. And uh, hopefully get some of these picked open now um, and uh, salvage these older locks, maybe impression some keys. Um, and uh, they're pretty cool locks. They open backwards, which is kind of interesting. They open to the, you twist them anti-clockwise. So just a little idea. These things are really cheap. Um, you can also get a version of them uh, sometimes in the uh, the glue section of your hardware store um, for injecting glue into little crevices and things when you're patching uh, furniture or whatever. Um, they usually have a little bit of a thicker needle, but same idea. Um, only thing I would say is be, you know, be careful with these. Obviously, very sharp. Uh, they come with a little uh, cap, and uh, dispose of them properly. If you've got a sharps container, or put them in a, a bottle or a can before you throw them away, so nobody sticks themselves on it, handling it. And um, that's about it. So I thought that might be helpful for somebody, and just a little crazy tool tip. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Alex signing off.